Hey there, Baltra Hub. How are you guys doing this week? It is Friday, so it is return with me. I'm sorry for the way I look. I've been painting all day, trying to get my room finished so we can pop back up there and I can record videos in there. Some of you were complaining about the lighting in the last few videos. I'm sorry, there's really nothing I can do. I have limited space and limited time to record stuff, so I've been doing it in my basement and it's very dark down there. The walls are black and it's not helping with the light and stuff. So I record it. I'm recording it up here. Hopefully by next week I'll be in my room. Hopefully, cool. I'm not gonna cross my fingers or anything, but we'll be up there. If you want to see more of me, come to my YouTube channel. It's youtubecom floorhugger. And if you want to see me every Friday, subscribe here, Walter Hub, youtubecom Walter Hub, and you know you see me every Friday and you see all the other awesome content that they put up throughout the week. So let's get into our first piece of news, you guys. For those of you who are big fans of Grand Theft Auto, like I am, who've been playing it non-stop, Grand Theft Auto V has confirmed online mul like microtransactions for online multiplayer and probably for their DLC and stuff down later down the road. But that's a pretty uh, pretty awesome. I don't know. If you have the ability to maybe buy any cars, like exclusive cars or exclusive planes or outfits or stuff like that is kind of cool maps like different parts of maps maybe in Blaine County they put down uh, what was the one in San Andreas the casino town Las Venturas maybe they put something like that as a micro transaction that you can buy that would be cool what do you guys think for those of you that are Assassin's Creed fans like I am I have all the games I have not pre-ordered the newest one but I will pick it up when it comes out PSN is having a sale I have the list right in front of me so I can read off to you guys what, what's on sale. For 30% off, this is PSN only, they have Assassin's Creed, Assassin's Creed 2 Ultimate Edition, Assassin's Creed Brotherhood, Assassin's Creed Revelation, Assassin's Creed 3 Ultimate Edition, which I'm assuming includes some DLC in there, or packs or whatever, Assassin's Creed 3, the Assassin's Creed 3 Season Pass, Assassin's Creed Liberation, if you guys remember, that was originally a PSP title. And Assassin's Creed Brotherlines, which was also a PSP title. For 50% off, they have Assassin's Creed 2 Sequence 12, which is DLC, The Battle for Frawley. Assassin's Creed 2 Sequence 13, Bonfires of the Vanities, which is uh, another DLC, which is actually pretty good. Um, Assassin's Creed 2 Sequence 13, Bonfire, Vanities, and Secret Locations that are in the DLC. Assassin's Creed Brotherhood Da Vinci's Disappearance DLC. That one was actually really good. Assassin's Creed Revelations The Lost Archives. Assassin's Creed Revelations The Mediterranean Traveler Map Pack for the um, multiplayer. And Assassin's Creed Revelation Ancestors Character Pack for the multiplayer. I don't know about you guys, I the games themselves are good without DLC. Um, what was it? Assassin's Creed 3, when there was the first one, Tyranny of King Washington. There was a big problem with that, I remember, was when you save on it, it deletes your main story progress, and that was happening for a lot of people, or something to do with the DLC where it would delete your main story progress. So, I... I don't... I've played... I got Assassin's Creed 2 with the Copernico DLC. Or the Copernico story, it was pretty good. I've played the other two on like my friends' accounts and stuff, but I don't know. The games are so good without the DLC. We'll see what Assassin's Creed 4 has in store. Oh, I can't wait to play that. I'm so excited, you guys. For those of you that are Batman fans like me but want to play it on the PC, which I'm not sure yet if I'm going to get it on the PC or the PS3. It's still an up in the air thing. I'm thinking PC because you know makes it a little easier to stream and play and stuff. But who knows? I'm thinking. Who knows? We'll see when the time comes. PS3. No, sorry. Batman is pairing certain GE cards with the game. So the, I'm gonna list the cards right now. The GE, the GeForce, GE Force, GTX 660, 66. 0Ti, the 670, the 680, the 760, the 770, and the 780. If you buy it from Amazon, Newegg, and Tiger, Tiger Direct in North America, you get the card with it. So you can go to the official Batman Arkham Origins website to see 
the cards as well and the different packages you can get, but it's only if you get it from Amazon, Newegg, or Tiger Direct in North America. I don't know about Europe and I don't know about anywhere else, South America or anything else like that. They're only saying for North America right now, so maybe it's not going to come to you guys, maybe it is, who knows, but uh, that's all the news I have for you guys this week. Like I always say, leave comments below for suggestions for next week's video. Leave comments if you want. I have suggestions for me to do another kind of video. Maybe you'll see me twice a week. Who knows? And if you want to see more of me, I already said it at the beginning of the video. If you want to see more of Vulture Hub and what they do, subscribe below. And I will see you guys next week. Remember, have fun and stay awesome. Bye, guys.